The overall goal of these methods is to enable the prediction of small interfering RNA-mediated gene silencing efficiencies and facilitate control over the resulting protein expression levels in a spatiotemporal manner. This method can elucidate structure function relationships in stimuli responsive delivery vehicles. Gaining better control over binding versus release can unlock translatable platforms in drug discovery as well as regenerative medicine technologies. The main advantages of this technique are that changes in gene expression can be controlled and predicted on the basis of simple sRNA release assays and kinetic modeling. Though these methods employ novel photoresponsive polymers, this set of assays can be readily adapted to test a wide variety of other stimuli responsive systems. To begin, prepare a 32 micrograms per milliliter siRNA solution by adding siRNA to a 20 micromolar HEPI solution at pH 6. Then, prepare a polymer solution by adding dissolved MPEG block poly APN BMA polymers to a 20 millimolar HEPI solution at pH 6 to achieve a concentration of 220 micrograms per milliliter. This concentration will result in an N to P ratio of 4, meaning there will be four times as many amine groups on the polymer as phosphate groups on siRNA. Next, add the polymer solution dropwise to an equal volume of the siRNA solution, while gently mixing on a vortex machine. Continue to vortex for 30 seconds following polymer addition. Then, incubate.